Hello, my fellow HBICs. How are you doing this lovely morning, afternoon, or evening? How are you all? I'm going to warn you. I'm recording multiple videos today, so you're going to see this set up. But you, what, what you will see is how it gradually went from dark to day. Yes, I am in a place that I have not recorded in in a very long time because my SP's um, work schedule had changed. And last... This, well, this past week, his schedule changed a little bit again. So I am coming home early in the morning because he had to go back to work today. Uh, and I'm not sitting in his house with nothing to do. Sometimes I, I don't mind sitting there, but today I want to go home. There's a lot more to do at my house. I got to unpack. Um, but I'm like, you know what? I, because I didn't record on the way up to his house last night, and because that was one of my other stomping grounds is another spot on the way up to his place. I'm like, I got to stop over here because this is another spot I would record from. So for nostalgia purposes, hello, I am in my old little recording spot. Um, let's get to the basic bed shit. If you need help figuring out what is going on between you and your manifestation and why it hasn't fucking shown up yet, please feel free to email me at manifestingwithkimberly at gmail.com. All of my one-on-one -on -one coaching offers or packages or just basic bitch one-to-one -one calls are in the drop box below. They are also in the frames as you were starting to watch this video and hopefully didn't skip through. But if you need help with any of that, okay, you need help figuring out what's going on. And I have been successful at helping a lot of people this summer. A lot of people this summer. Lots and lots this summer. It's already October. You know, I'm like, I don't know if this is gonna go up in October. So maybe it's November by the time you're watching it. Who knows, but regardless, I got a lot of success stories and a success story video coming, so boop. Anywho, anywho, let's get to it. Also, before I forget, I always forget this. If you would like a group type setting of zhuzh, of encouragement, or to get to ask me specific questions, a little bit better chance of me being able to answer one of your questions, especially if you haven't been able to you know, get to me on a Wednesday night for my free live stream, you can join the channel membership. I have a lovely group of people that are wonderfully encouraging. We all share tips and tricks of manifesting. We're all about getting our shit in that channel membership. What I won't let you do in the channel membership is consistently talk and marinate about your old fucking story. This is all about changing your life, getting the things that you want in your 3D the things we want, not what we don't want. We don't talk and marinate in old shit. We just don't. We just don't. Okay? But, like I said, if you need a weekly dose of encouragement, a weekly dose of fire to get you on your manifestation game, then join the channel membership. I got a lovely group. I'm just telling you I do. I don't mean to brag, but it is what it is. I got a great group of people and we all care about each other and even some of the other groups like within my group have made little side groups so they can chit chat during the week it's like it's it's a good thing so join the channel membership okay i'm at no let's get into what i believe is going to be the title of circumstances do not fucking matter but probably the drop in the fucking for youtube purposes i don't know i think i'm gonna title it that who knows we'll see but they don't circumstances do not matter they don't. They don't. They don't. They don't. Okay. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. <laughs> but circumstances don't matter. They don't. Okay. Literally. Neville Goddard said that is even though your problems appears fixed and real, you have felt the subjective psychological state to be real to the point of receiving the thrill of that reality. You have experienced the secret of creation for you have felt the reality of the subjective. And what does that fucking mean? It means that even though shit rolling up in your 3D feels pretty fucking real, it feels very real. It could be very something upsetting, painful, whatever subject area that you're manifesting in with your specific person, with money, with health, with anything, even though what's going on in your 3D right now, it doesn't matter. And it's only here. It's only in your existence right now because you have given it life. You are putting your focus on it. You are giving it, you know, your awareness. 
And I know there's already a few of you saying, but Kim, I never consciously thought about this. This is not something that I ever thought about. So how is it here? Because we create, we manifest out based on our thoughts, inner beliefs, and assumptions. So you may have had an inner belief that has led to this manifesting out. Not everything is cookie cutter, right? Meaning not every single thing, right? If you have an inner belief about relationships, that relationships don't work out for you, they don't last, love book never works for you. If you've got those types of inner beliefs or if you're in love with someone, that's the person that's not going to fall in love with you. Only the people you don't want love, you know, only the people you don't want are the ones that get head over heels in love with you. Blah, blah, blah. And I get it. If that's your inner belief, yes, or even if you've been working on it, it's things still have to push out, essentially. Kind of like thinking of, somebody brought this up in the group, it's kind of like um, uh, like having something dirty in your water. You gotta still put in the cup, clean, clean water dripping in in order to overflow the shit out of the cup. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of that same idea. So you could be working on your self-concept and you could be working on changing those inner beliefs, but if they're there, Sometimes they got to purge the fuck out and that could be totally what is happening for you right now. It could be. So don't fucking recreate more of it by continuously putting your awareness on it. Putting your focus on it. Okay? Don't do that to yourself. We are manifesting every single second of the day. And all things that manifest are the manifestation of your previous thoughts, inner beliefs, and assumptions, and what state you are embodying. Because each state has its own experiences, assumptions, and beliefs. Each state has its own. So if you are in a state of a person who does not get what they desire when it comes to love and relationships or with money, or with any other subject you are trying to manifest in, if you are embodying the state of not having those things and that they don't work out for you, then you are going to have to experience those types of circumstances, those types of events. Does that make sense? So if you are embodying the state of the woman who does not have love or the man who doesn't get love, you will continuously experience circumstances that produce that feeling, that, that further belief in the inner belief that sucks tits, right? When you shift your state into the woman or man who has it all, who has all your desires, right? They naturally easily manifest for you. If you're embodying that state, well, then you have to manifest experiences or circumstances that provide a match to that feeling because we manifest what we are. We manifest out what we are in here. Now, some will tell you not what you want, but what you are. But my theory is, well, we can be, do, and have whatever we want. So as long as I get myself aligned correctly, I know that dirty word, align, right? Alignment, vibration. Anyway, I'm being silly. Uh, as long as your thoughts, inner beliefs, assumptions, right? You're embodying the state of having your desire. As long as you're there, then you can still be, do, and have whatever you want. It's all about what state you are in. So you are going to manifest out what you are inside. So what state are you in? More than likely, you were probably in a state of lack, hence the shitty circumstance. But the minute you decide that I'm not having this anymore, I don't care what happens in the 3D, fuck the 3D, fuck what's going on, it does not matter. Nothing can stop me from manifesting everything I desire. You shift. You start to shift into the state of the person that has their desire. 
And I want to make clear, it is not that you have to believe and trust that it's already out in your 3D, right? Because if you're trying to manifest a specific person and they're not there yet, they're not conformed to the, you know, your desires, you know, the relationship isn't back together, whatever your scenario is, it's not that you have to trust and believe that it's happening in front of you right now when it's not happening in front of you. It's that you need to accept and believe that it's created in here. Here is where you need to trust it's done. Here is where we believe that whatever we desire will manifest out. It's here first. It's always within us first. That's where you have to know it's done. Not out in the 3D yet. Here. Okay? I think we sometimes hear like you have to believe it's done. Believe it's already manifested. Believe it's already created. Not out in the 3D yet. We know it's not there yet. It's the knowing it's here. Okay? So your circumstances don't fucking matter because you could shift your fucking state in a hot second and it will have to fall away. It has to. It has to. You have to have experiences in your 3D that match your state of being. Period. So if you shift your state into the powerhouse woman or man, the unstoppable bitches or badasses that we are, then your 3D has got to match that, period. So fuck that circumstance. It sincerely doesn't fucking matter what your specific person says or does to you. It doesn't. Now, I'm not talking abusive shit. That's a whole other fucking topic. I'm talking basic bitch relationship problems, basic bitch broken hearts, all that shit doesn't fucking matter. doesn't matter if your specific person just married somebody last weekend or has a new third party or you thought you two were getting back together or if you were married and you were in Splitsville and you've been manifesting to get back together with that person and then they show up with a fucking third party. It doesn't matter. I know it hurts. I know it is heartbreaking, that kind of a discovery. But I promise you, it does not matter. Nothing can stop the state you're embodying. That's it. That's law. So as long as you begin to embody the state of the person that has that husband or wife back with you and only you, and you to cope, with what you're experiencing in the 3D, if you can't go straight to fuck the 3D and removing the third party from your awareness, so long as you give that situation the meaning that that only fucking happened because that's what it took, that was the natural, logical, believable bridge of incidents that made my SP realize I was a badass bitch, sexy as hell, totally fucking amazing and awesome and that's why we're back together yes because they realized when they were th with that other dumb bitch how fucking amazing I am give it that meaning and then move on and get into that fucking state and stay there of the woman or man who has your desires I know it's like I, we repeat we coaches repeat the same fucking things over and over and over and sometimes it's like you can say it as many times as you want Kim doesn't mean I get it I know. So I'm trying to get different examples. I'm trying to give you just fucking, I want you to get it. I want you to get, I want everybody to get their shit. I do because I know what it's like to not have. I do. I do. I can't talk for every other coach on this platform, but I can tell you, I came from a situation of really, really, really bad money issues and really, really, really years of shit in relationships. And I have flipped the script on all of it on all of it. I used to weigh 300 fucking pounds. I'm still on a weight loss journey. You know what I mean? I, I need to stop saying that or I'm going to be continuously on a weight loss journey. You know what I'm saying? But I've been there. I've experienced everything you want. I've had bad health. I've had being 300 pounds. I've had shit relationships. Even in my early days of law of assumption, I had, I manifested my SP. I manifested two breakups. I had to manifest his ass three fucking times, but I got him back because I woke the fuck up and realized what I was doing wrong. I allowed circumstances to matter in my 3D and I paid for it, right? It's when I finally stopped 
letting things I don't want to stay in my awareness, what I'm constantly thinking and focusing on. I stopped and I flipped my situation around. So I manifested money, love, health, weight loss. What more do you want me to talk about? I've manifested cars, townhouse. I've done it. I've been where you are. I've been where you are and I know your circumstances feel so damn real that they feel like there's no way they can change, that they're never going to go away. But I promise you, if you do what I tell you, they will. They will. They will, they will, they will. I promise. I do. You can do this. You can do it. Okay? Stop giving your circumstance your consistent attention. Stop talking about your circumstance consistently with your friends. Every time you bring it back up, you are reaffirming it into your reality. You are just holding it here. Drop it. Drop talking about it, please. When you continuously acknowledge your scenario, your circumstance, you are breathing life into it. You are giving it the fire. We don't want to give that fire. We want the things we want to manifest to have the fire from us, our attention, the life. And also, some of you are busy thinking that whatever is in your 3D is permanent and real. And that's just not the case. Your 3D doesn't mean shit. Your 3D is the manifestation of old thoughts and nothing more period. The minute, the minute that you stop reacting, fearing, acknowledging, talking about your circumstance is the exact minute, the exact second that it begins to leave your awareness. It begins to fade away naturally out of your 3D, period. I hope all that made sense. I hope you feel a little bit better. I hope you have a little bit of trust in me. But if you do what I tell you in this fucking video, it will go away. It will go away. It will. Get your thoughts right. Get your mind right. Get your shit. I'm not saying it because it sounds funny to me when I say it and it does make me laugh a little inside. Because, it, But it's true. It's true. We can be, do, and have whatever we want. Whatever. Whatever. There is nothing off limits. So if you want it, visualize yourself having it. Or if you prefer to affirm, then affirm yourself having it. But get your mind focused on that. Fuck the 3D. I mean it. Fuck the 3D. And watch that circumstance change. Okay? Embody the state of the woman or man who has it all. You can do it. Okay? And other than that, I love you, and I'll see you in a day or two.